Hey, Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So today I want to give you an update on the status of the monarch butterfly. Is the population still declining? How did 22 do versus 2021? Is it increasing, decreasing? So that's what this video is all about today. Uh, before I get into that though, I thought I'd start with just a little bit of an overview of the monarch and its incredible migration. So let's talk about that first. Monarchs live throughout the United States and into southern Canada, and they migrate to different spots. If the monarch is west of the Rocky Mountains, they'll migrate to southern California. If they're on the east coast, they may migrate down to Florida. And then if they're in the central U.S. into southern Canada, they'll migrate all the way down to Mexico, about 100 miles west of Mexico City. So this is where they'll spend their winter before they start their migration back up north to start the whole process of laying eggs, caterpillars, butterflies, and it goes over and over and over. So it's crazy the amounts of butterflies though that end up in central Mexico. They congregate. There can be up to 50 million butterflies in a two and a half acre area. It's an incredible sight. When in Mexico, the monarchs hang out on these fir trees. That's where they spent their winter. And they're impressive, majestic trees, although the locals in Mexico use it for wood. So they're cutting down some of the habitat down in Mexico, which is one of the issues the monarch is having right now. So in the winter, the monarch's losing its habitat in Mexico with the loss of fir trees, and in the summer, it's losing its habitat in the United States with the loss of milkweed caused by all the herbicides and pesticides being put down by big agriculture across the U.S. And the monarch needs milkweed. That's what its eggs are laid on. That's what the caterpillars eat, and that's how we get more monarchs. And so... That's one of the challenges is the loss of habitat for the monarch butterfly, the loss of milkweed. We certainly need agriculture for food, but we need also to help save insects and save butterflies like the monarch. And we can do that by planting milkweed in our gardens and along our road edges and in our ditches to try and create more habitat for the monarch. All right, let's get on with the monarch population update for 2022. So I get this information on the monarch population off of the monarchwatch.org website. So you're all welcome to go out there and check out all the information they have on the monarch butterfly. It's tremendous. But you can see they give an update every year and they're going out and counting hectares of where there's overwintering monarch butterflies. So they've been doing this for over 27 years, and for every hectare of monarchs, there's about 50 million butterflies. So I broke it down a little bit more detail here. Some of the, high, the highest year in 1997, when there was almost 18 hectares, or over 18 hectares, 900 million monarchs. 2009, 253 million monarchs. And you can see the last three years, uh, 141 million in 2020, a little dip in 21, and then back up a little bit in 2022. So that's where we're at for 2022, 142 million monarch butterflies estimated in the overwintering grounds in Mexico. So I was very excited to see the population of the monarch went up a little bit in 2022. So we're making an impact. If everyone can continue to create habitat by planting pollinating flowers and adding milkweed to your gardens and your road ditches, that can help create habitat for monarchs. So continue to do your part. I'm going to do my part. I'm attaching a link below to six types of milkweed that thrive in the north, which is critical for the survival of the monarch butterfly. So that's the population update for the monarch butterfly in 2022. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you comment, like, subscribe to the channel. So that's all I have today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out and have a great day.